Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this letter S. Very abstract, by the way. Letter S in Gravit Designer. So we're gonna deal with the radial gradient and I will show you why Gravit is the most convenient app to create and handle gradients, I believe. So let's start with a new document, Alt N or Option N on your Mac, and I'm gonna size it with the website large, 1440 to 19 pixels. And first of all, let me create a circle and uh, click E to grab the ellipse and hold Alt or Option key and Shift to constrain the proportion between width and height to create a 360 pixel circle. So. You see, here I have 360 pixels wide and I have 360 pixels height. Then uh, head over to the appearance panel and in the first angle field type 120 pixels. You can also do this by uh, controlling this bullet point with the subselect tool. So 120 pixels. Then create a duplicate of this uh, pie with the Ctrl Shift D, comma Shift D, and I'm gonna uh, rotate this duplicate just like so. Here. Uh, so we need to combine these Pac-Man shapes uh, together. Here, you can change a color. So. Our shapes are almost done and last but not least I need to rotate them and I'll select my red one um, that it's uh, uh, it's a real shape on my last stock on my last panel and head over the fields panel and go to the angular gradient by default it gives me a two color gradient my current fuel color gradient which is red and uh, to the black color stop. Uh, by dragging this bullet I can introduce more or less black uh, to my radial gradient but in this tutorial I'm gonna apply this gradient that I have on my gradient swatch and you can see that my gradient is highly visual, so I can control every single aspect right here on my shape. And as you can see, I can see immediately how it changed. So I don't need this additional layers of abstraction such as a slider to really understand what is going on with my object, right? Uh, so. By the way, you can add as many gradient spots as you wish by simply clicking on the uh, circumference around this object. You notice that my icon is changed to the cursor with the plus sign. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna again apply simple gradient and move this color stop here. And this is a color stop should say this is a color stop in the middle and this is a very important line here you see it here it's like a, it's kind of cross here uh, it works like a transition line between your left leftmost and rightmost gradient stops uh, so in order to obtain the smooth transition here on this line you need to keep uh, your rightmost and your leftmost colors are very similar. I do this by assigning the color to the one end and then grab the airdrop tool and just sample the color uh, from my leftmost. You see from this region. I just sample the color from this region. Uh, so it's important for me uh, to keep it smooth. I just miss something. Okay, I can delete the, any kind of uh, gradient stop by just pushing them to the top or to the bottom. 
Uh, so I just want to select this and sample the color uh, from here. So it's a very important. Now I also want to darken this side because um, it's kind of a shape uh, from the front uh, object. Now focus on it. So uh, I darken it and introduce uh, 06, 06, uh, 11. Then I'm gonna navigate uh, to my uh, third gradient stop here and provide a color uh, 2639F. Uh, then I'm gonna navigate to 4B. Uh, 5C A9 and uh, then uh, this uh, kind of uh, leftmost uh, color uh, gradient stop 103C66 uh, then goes uh, my rightmost uh, gradient stop 194160 uh, 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 then goes uh, to the considerable distance uh, from uh, my rightmost uh, the second from right 621462 and uh, another gradient stop right in the middle uh, 633992 uh, uh, and as you can see I have this uh, transition uh, from the bluish to magenta color so uh, the next one the next one you see if you select the next one and grab the let me uh, now lock my ellipse because uh, for some of the reason it uh, highlighted angular gradient again uh, you see how easy I can add and then I can change this by simply uh, dragging on this uh, slider you see it here you can also select uh, every single bullet here grab the a dropper tool and uh, sample the color but uh, for this particular design, I have already created uh, a global swatch. And, but uh, I want to focus uh, your attention on how I create this color itself. So uh, first of all, I add the anchor po gradient point here and then sample the color to uh, enable the smooth trans transition. So uh, this is very important between two shapes. We need to enable this smooth, uh, smooth, very nice uh, transition. Then next, uh, uh, I uh, try to uh, go to smooth into the pink area of my spectrum, and so on and so forth. And in the uh, end, I received uh, something like this. But you see, uh, let me also emphasize another advantages of Gravit uh, Designer. I can grab this transition line, uh, I believe, and just navigate here. So I just, I can grab this, you see, and just rotate this gradient to the position I need. and. Another uh, very important thing uh, you need to keep in mind. Um, you see here we have a straight line, so um, it doesn't correspond with our ellipse. You see we have a curved line here, and, um, and we can do this. We can draw another line and just subtract from our front shape. So we can draw, draw this kind of line and uh, subtract from our shape and pro probably this is the simplest way but I believe we can do this uh, without uh, using a pen tool at all and um, this is uh, what you guys asked me to do in my gravity design tutorials uh, design with, without a pen tool so let me show you a couple of uh, tips how uh, you can Embrace this workflow, uh, workflow uh, with a uh, razor bullet shape operators, uh, right? Then uh, with the pen tool. So uh, let me um, make a copy of this ellipse and then uh, make a copy of this ellipse as well. So select the both ellipses here. Uh, first of all, uh, make a intersection. So uh, head over the bullet shape operators and 
choose from this drop down intersection. Uh, next thing is to from this compound path we need to delete uh, first uh, first convert it to the con compound shape to the compound path with Control Shift B Command Shift B on your mark, and uh, then when you have a compound path you need to uh, let me lock all of my layers and focus on uh, this uh, design uh, on this compound path. I need to grab the subset tool, control, uh, simply D key, and delete this uh, kind of a path I have here. So, uh, what um, I want to save only this, I want to leave only this uh, this kind of part. And uh, the next thing is uh, fairly simple. I need to first of all uh, put this. Uh, part in front of my uh, ellipse, this ellipse, and then uh, select them both on my layers panel and uh, go to the subtract uh, and uh, to let me go to the outline view so you can understand what is going on here. I'm gonna, uh, so I subtract uh, this part, this small uh, compound path uh, from this uh, front shape. Let me uh, leave the outline mode and go to the uh, subtract. So you see here and again we need to go to the um, angular gradient and rotate this line using... So again let me apply the color Okay, I have this compound shape and uh, I realize that I need to uh, convert it to the compound path, of course. So, Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P. You need to convert it to regular compound path or go to the modify path and convert to path, this option. And uh, now, finally, uh, I can create this uh, kind of uh, transition so I can uh, control my gradient uh, by simply rotating it here. So this is uh, how it works um, here on my Windows machine at least. It allows you to create this um, awesome uh, transition using only uh, simple shapes and um, default gradients uh, in Gravit. I want to emphasize that uh, Angular gradient is a default in Gravit Designer. And uh, last but not least guys, uh, what you can do, you can uh, go to the effects more and color adjust and use, uh, well, uh, you can uh, find it here under the effects panel, color adjust and then uh, play with the both hues and saturation. So uh, in order to uh, come up with more uh, ideas, more designs and more colors. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, if you do give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and let me know what you are designing in Gravit Designer. By uh, participating in Gravit Designer user group and Gravit Designer tutorials. Thank you for watching, have a great day.